Welcome back to the PX Grid Developer video series. In today's video, we'll build on top of the sample client we made earlier. We'll have our client subscribe to the session topic as part of the identity model. Then we'll run a session traffic simulator, which will cause ICE to send out session notifications to PX Grid. Our client will print out these notifications, and then we'll take a look at what these notifications contain. Okay, before adding the subscription logic, we first need to create a notification handler. This handler would usually perform much more interesting actions based on the notifications received from PXGrid. However, for the sake of time and simplicity, we'll simply print out the notifications to the console. I'm going to declare a static class with, within my session subscribe file. I'll call it my handler and ensure that it implements the notification callback interface. This interface requires that my class have a handle method that takes in a base message object. This object is part of the core model and will contain the notification. It should be cast based on the respective model object being used. Here, I'm casting it into a session notification object as part of the identity model. The session notification object has a handy get sessions method, which we can then iterate through in this for each loop. Each session holds a large amount of information. I'm going to steal the uh, print method from the sample helper.java file that is, comes included in the pxgrid SDK. As you can see, it nicely parses the session data and prints it out to the console. I highly recommend going through the sample helper.java file because it provides a lot of these common uh, functionalities for the identity model. Now that our simple handler is ready, we can add the subscription logic. First, I'll declare an instance of my handler. First, I'll declare an instance of my handler. Then I'll create a capability ref object. This object serves as a reference to the needed capability.
the grid connection objects subscribe capability method, we'll use this reference to subscribe our client to the session capability. The last thing we need to do is simply register our notification handler. The register notification handler method takes in three parameters. The capability reference we subscribe to, the type of notification to handle, in this case session notification, and the instance of our handler. Cool. Now that everything's ready, I'll start the PX Grid client. On ICE, we see it has indeed connected and even subscribed to the session capability. Now it's time to start up our traffic simulator. If you look at the radius live logs on the admin UI, ICE is taking in these events and publishing them to PXGrid for our client to consume. Let's go back to the PXGrid client. We can see our handler in action. It's printing out each session notification and giving us some very detailed information. Though most of these attributes are null due to the fact that we're using a basic simulator, we can still see stuff like the user of the session, their active directory information, the ANC state, security group they're a part of, their session state, their endpoints profile, and a lot of mobile device management attributes of this endpoint, and much, much more. In a very similar way, you can have your own client subscribe to a variety of other capabilities and topics, and build the comprehensive applications on top of PXGrid. So in the next video, we'll go over how to query for a specific session in the session capability. ICE will handle our request and give us the appropriate session notification. So stay tuned!